I don't give a fuck about Hmm, hmm, shit, shit. Aye. Aye. Nice chain, red bone mains Chain swing, light pretty thing Hey guys, so today I'm actually going to be doing a first impressions makeup tutorial on the few products that I've received over the past couple of weeks um, which I've purchased with my own money I thought I'd make this video just to try out the products and to show you how well they work on my skin um, and if they're good quality and if I would recommend them to you or not. I'll be going through the products one by one. Before we start, my skin tone has actually changed, um, not drastically, but quite a lot over the past couple of weeks, just because I've been tanning outside. So as you can see, my complexion's evened out a bit more now and it's not looking as pale, so. so I've just gone in with my Mario Badesco. You guys know I love this and I stick by it. Nothing new here, I literally use this all the time. So I've just gone in with that. Right, these nails are actually doing the most right now. Okay, lit. So I actually wanted to try out the CBD oil from Revolution. Um, this is literally for dry skin. It's just a nourishing oil. So I'm going to drop this on my face and moisturize it in. It smells a little bit like weed, not going to lie to you. I'm literally just going to drop this onto our face. You put it on your skin morning and night just to make your skin less dry i presume so far it feels quite nice on my face i'm liking this so far we'll see how my makeup applies on top but i do really like this product by the way i'm actually wearing a top it's just quite low i'm not sat here with just a jacket on like i'm not naked it's fine so the next product we are actually going to use is going to be the ordinary moisturizer um so this is natural moisturizing factors and ha surface hydration formula so i'm going to use this today as sort of like my moisturizer my base just because i obviously want to try this out and see if it works well when i apply makeup i'm just going to apply a little bit to my hands i've literally just got like a pea size amount this just smells like a normal moisturizer like the um the scent isn't any different it leaves kind of like a tackiness but as you can see i'm very like glowy now now that we've moisturized and basically primed the face i am now going to start on my eyes and my eyebrows so I do not have any eyebrow products, so I'm going to go in with the handy dandy Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Dark Brown. The main reason I wanted to film this is because the palette that I'm going to use is obviously new and it's been sat in here since like my haul two videos ago. I've been wanting to use it, but I was like, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I can do a first impressions and all the products have came and I can use them. So that's exactly what I waited for and I'm glad I did because it's just a nicer video if most of the things I'm using is something that I've bought recently and there is fluff in my hair. I already feel like better just doing my makeup with nails on for some reason. Like I just feel like a bad bitch, if you will. These nails my friend kindly gifted to me. Um, she's a nail artist. I will link her name and page down below. She's incredible at nails. I literally don't go to anyone else for my nails at all. Like she's so good at what she does. And she's recently started up her little quarantine business where, cause obviously she can't work at the moment from the salon. She has been making pre-made nail sets and sending them out. And luckily I was one of the first people, if the first person to try them out. So I'm wearing them today, so I'll give you a close-up of them. They literally say 1999 because that's my birth year. And then we have this on the thumb, which is a heart with barbed wire and a flame in the background. Absolutely obsessed. And then you're thinking, wow, love, do they match on the other hand? No, sis, of course not. So this is the other hand we have. Why is my thumb playing up? Can you get out, please? We have a butterfly here in yellow. We've got a plain nail. And then we have two little pink butterflies here. And then finally, a purple one on my other thumb. So they're all ombre. They go from yellow to orange to pink to purple i'm literally obsessed with them i wanted to try out a makeup look and to film it and do a first impressions of it but also make my look match my nails because i just think that's sick like why not do that do you know what i mean so she made these now specifically for this video which sounds really bougie obviously i'm not going to take them off after but it was for this video idea this is one of my favorite sets done by her i'll put a few photos here of the set she's done on me before because i'm 
absolutely obsessed with them. They're really affordable as well. So this is a box that actually came in. Um, a cute little box with her logo on there. And her Instagram handle is Afterglow by Carmen. Um, she's absolutely amazing. 100% recommend and she can deliver to anywhere in the UK possibly worldwide but i'm not sure about that but if you want some bomb nails just give her an idea on what designs you want and she will do it for you the whole inspiration for these nails and the colors that she got from is this so as you can see they match perfectly um they just look absolutely incredible with this like can we please just take a moment like oh my god so I'm gonna to continue with my makeup before we get a little bit too carried away. So we're now gonna sculpt the brows. I'm using my everyday, just normal concealer. Um, this is a really nice creamy consistency, if you're wondering again. This is the Banana Cream Contour by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I actually have de-panned it from the actual palette and I cannot find the actual palette. So um, I have it in like a small compact, which I can carry this around because this is the only color I use. So I don't know if you can see, but I have a little bit of like flaking there with the concealer. Not too sure why, it could be the mix of products. So hopefully that can be covered with foundation. So I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Brow Gel. This is absolutely probably run out now. I'm literally like scraping it to get all the rest out. Eyebrows are done. They look not the same can't quite tell why now we're gonna move on to eyes so this is the interesting part okay, for this look I'm not entirely sure on how I want to execute this so I don't actually want to use tape this time because I kind of want it to be not as sharp like I don't want it to be sharp I don't think I'm gonna be using any eyeliner but we will see I recently picked up the Morphe 24a artist pass palette and this is the by the Saweetie collection so I'm so excited to use this. I haven't used it yet and I was waiting for this video. So now I can finally delve into her. Look at that. Look at it. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I'm so excited to use this. This smells very like industrial. Obviously you guys know I love to have just a normal clear white base. So instead of going into my James Charles, I'm just gonna go in my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just gonna go in with Tempera up here. Yeah, please ignore the state of this palette. Sis has been through it. It completely eliminates like the dark surface, which is a good base for you when you do your makeup. So again, if there's any new people that are trying out makeup or this palette and you don't know that tip, definitely always put down like a light covered base because it does camouflage all your imperfections underneath and it's a good base to start because it will also increase the intensity of your colors as well so this pink here and this one up here is really enticing me for some reason i love this color it's like a coral color it's called indigo woe and i'm just really drawn to it i'm going to start with this brush this is just the royal and langnickel silk pro brush and is the angled eye blender so i'm going to go in with this brush we're going to go in with indigo woe and we're literally going to blend this into our crease and up towards our brow bone so i'm just going to run this up towards the brow bone again we can always intensify this and detail it with a smaller brush i'm just trying to pack on the color first impression the shades are really easy to work with um, i'm not really having any trouble with like moving the pigment around we've gone in with indigo woe i absolutely love this color um i just think this color is so nice and it kind of complements my skin tone we're now going to move on to max volume which is the shade pink down here um this color literally is just barbie pink it reminds me of Nicki minaj i'm gonna go with this brush again this is the royal and langnickel silk pro brush and this is just a smudger brush but i'm actually going to use this in my crease we're going to go in with max volume and i'm just going to pack it on the brush now again really good pigment payoff already as you can see i've literally tapped it i haven't rubbed it this is just one tap of the brush um into the eyeshadow and it's coming off with a really good pigment payoff which is what we like to see so all in all i am really impressed with this product so far so far the color in the eyeshadow palette and what is coming out on my eye i do think is true to color people with brown skin or darker skin than me because i'm mixed race sometimes we struggle with the pigment payoff on our eyes opposed to what it looks like in the palette so when we see that the palette's been used in all different skin tones and they've tested it and advertise it in all different skin tones it's easier for us to picture what it's going to look like on our skin so i know i don't have the darkest skin i am quite pale for a mixed race person but it is paying off pretty well on my eyes and i do like it we're just going to blend that 
into our crease and make sure we get to the corner of our eyes because sometimes they get neglected. So once I'm happy with the pigment payoff, I'm now going to cut my crease. I'll be going in with the same product I used to cut my eyebrows, but I'll be using a different brush. And I'm gonna go in with the product and just start packing it on my crease. What I love about the product I'm using, which again is the Anastasia contour cream in the color banana is the fact that it goes on so smoothly and you can blend it you can make it work in every curve and it just doesn't really budge i'm just going to drag it a little bit under my eyes just to correct that different color so i'm pretty happy with this eyes cut crease i've noticed that in most of my videos you guys have seen jack the teddy bear in the background um it's kind of becoming my brand that i have an overly creepily stuffed teddy bear sat in different corners of my room um so that is jack <laughs> he actually has a name that is jack right there there's also a mini one he is called what is that bear wellington it's not wellington it's something like that though we have Corduroy, which is the baby one. Um, I named him after Corduroy, which is a young TV programme, which I used to watch when I was younger. Loved it. This is Jack. So my boyfriend bought me him for our six month anniversary a few years ago. Um, I love him. And it's my, my name and his name mixed together. So Jay and Zach. So Jack, and that's his name. So now you're formally acquainted with him. Um, you'll probably be seeing him in a lot more videos soon to come, just because I literally have nowhere to put him. He's huge and he normally just lives on my bed so while i'm cutting my crease i want to know how you guys are um let me know in the comments i want to know how your quarantine is going on um did you make youtube in quarantine or have you been doing it beforehand how have you been how how what are you i said uh, 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 i motherfucking stutter you bitch We're now gonna dip into Major Inspo, which is this one here. We're now gonna pat this into the negative space that we made and the same in the inner corner. And we're gonna leave a space in the middle, but you can just blend this out a little bit if you need to. I'm gonna go with the same brush and use this color, which is called Seek Shade. And I'm now gonna pat this in the outer corner just to add depth to the purple. I'm gonna go in with a blender brush and just blend these out a little bit because they are looking a bit harsh. Make sure you blend underneath the eye as well. I'm gonna dip into Get The Shot, which is just this color here. It's like a yellowy cream color. And we're gonna run this over the top of the brow. I was gonna use one of the glitters in the palette, but I've decided to use this one because I think it will go really, really nicely with what I've done. This is just a crystal liquid eyeshadow. So I'm actually gonna swatch it and see what it looks like before I put it on the eye. Oh my God, are you seeing that? Do I want to add that to the middle of my eye? Yeah. It's in the color Peach Corpse and I'm now gonna run this in the negative space on my eye. And we're gonna just blend the edges out if we can, just, just blend it out ever so slightly. Now I haven't actually stuck this back in the pot and look how much is coming off. Um, this is a really pretty color. It's not clumpy in any way and it just glides really easily across the, the eye, which is what I really, really like. It feels really cold on my eye, which I'm not obviously not used to but it seems to be blending really well. Um, I'm only just blending the corners ever so slightly and it's actually turning it into an iridescent purple glitter, which is really, really lovely. So I've applied the glitter. All in all, I'm really, really happy with the payoff. Now we've finished with the palette and the eyes. We are now gonna move on to the face. I actually have this Priming Beauty Oil, so I will be dropping this on my skin. As you can see, I already did put on some serum beforehand. And as you can see, I do have a really nice glow. But I do wanna try out this product. So that is the packaging. It's just the Morphe Priming Beauty Oil. And I'm just gonna drop a little bit onto my face. Obviously be careful of the eyes because we've already applied. So get as close as you can under the eye. I do think that it makes your skin feel a lot smoother um, and I feel like it will actually apply my foundation a little bit better. It's just the Max Fix Plus and it's NC42. So I'm gonna apply this all over my face. This might be a little bit too light, so I'm not gonna put the most 
I'm not gonna put the most foundation on my face because I do wanna keep my skin quite natural today. Um, my skin has definitely improved and I obviously don't wanna look too light and this foundation can wash me out a little bit. So I'm only gonna apply a very small amount. You can see the difference on my forehead. I'm really not this color anymore. I really need to go foundation shopping and buy a darker shade. This is apparently my tanned foundation, but it is just not anymore. This is probably my winter foundation, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm now gonna go in with my Collection 2000 Last Imperfection Concealer in the shade Warm Medium. So I'm literally gonna do a little dab. Um, the reason I'm not doing my Fenty Beauty is because it is too light for me at the moment. So I just don't want to wash myself out. So I'm literally just applying the tiniest amount there and there and we're gonna blend that out. Like always, I'll be using my Kat Von D Shade to Light Highlighter and Contour Palette and we're gonna go in with a Kabuki brush. We're gonna go into the banana powder in the middle and then this one to the right. So I'm just gonna mix them together and then place under the eye. We don't wanna brush because it can create streak marks. So we're just gonna pat that into our skin. We're now gonna bronze up a little bit with the same colors in the palette. I'm going in with the one that's hit pan. I'm now going to go in with the Laura Mercier powder and I'm literally just going to powder under my eyes and down my cheekbones. I'm going to leave the rest of my face the same because I really don't want my face to be too matte. So I'm also going to press that into the sides of the nose. Run your beauty blender down the side of your face under where you want it to be contoured. I'm now going in with a buffing brush. This is just the Royal Techniques one. And we're literally just going to take off the bake. Um, I used to leave my bake quite long and I do quite like to leave it quite long underneath my cheekbones but for today we want to keep it dewy so we get the best out of the products we've used. Like you guys know this is literally my all time favourite. I will try and start using new different highlights but I only have the Anastasia Glow Highlight Palette and I prefer this. This suits my skin colour in like incredibly. And I just think it looks really pretty. So I, you can clearly see the one that I like to use, which is this one. Top of the nose. And up here, and then the cupid's bow. So I'm now gonna go in with Private Oasis and I'm gonna run that through my tear duct and on my brow bone. So Private Oasis is actually a pressed glitter, which I didn't realize. So I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is just the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And we're gonna apply that to our top and bottom lashes. I will be going in with the Illamasqua coloring pencil and this is in the color Woo. So I'm just gonna outline my lips really quickly. I'm then gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Art Stick Crayon and this is in the color Rose Brown. And I'm now gonna fill in my lips. And then what I'm gonna do is add a tiny dab of concealer and just pat that in with my finger. So I've left it like this. It's just a really cute nude. So we're gonna leave it like that. I just love that so much. Um, so far off the bat, this is my favorite product. Um, it just feels amazing, smells amazing, makes my skin look amazing. Like, look at that glow. So that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know what other videos you want to see from me. I'm really impressed with all the products that I used. Everything, my skin feels absolutely amazing from all those products. Everything applied really, really nicely. I think my skin looks really dewy and amazing. It just feels nice. It feels like I'm not wearing any makeup on my face, which is a really nice, fresh feeling for me to like experience because I really don't like the feel of makeup on my face, especially face makeup. That's why I don't wear it. Turn on that notification bell down below if you wanna see more videos from me and to be updated when I upload. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video. Overall, I'm really, really ha pleased and happy with all the products I've purchased and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.